Hey Kiri, how's it going? Um, I know you're really sick, so I've decided to make you a virtual get well soon card. I'm gonna go somewhere that I think I think you might be interested in. Where are you going? Okay, apparently this car is a really amazing license plate. That <laughs> just tried to make the sound of this license plate. I won't show the license plate, but it's E H K. And he's just gone eh. <laughs> we are just heading out to the super secret location. It's again a really nice day, which you can't tell right now because there's a massive cloud blocking the sun. We're heading to the tube and going to secret super secret location number one. There's two super secret locations. I finally got a proper bandage for my foot. <laughs> So I'm not wearing socks and sandals. It's just because I'm an idiot and fell down the stairs. Shout out to Batman Dental Practice. So Matt and I are currently having some cultural differences. <laughs> We've just got off the train at London Bridge and all the way here I was singing in my head the London Bridge is falling down. And then I realized that it was the same tune as the Head, Shoulders, Knees and Toes song. In Except French. according to Matt, it's, how does it go Matt? Come on, sing it for us. Head. Shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Yeah. I'm really lost now. It's definitely not how it goes. You can't swing an escalator okay, okay, go on. We're not escalatoring anymore. You got a second got chance. Heads, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, heads, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, and eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Heads, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. It's definitely not how it goes. It Definitely not sung in French. <laughs> I was singing that if I was a new up face, a new up face, a new up face, if I was a new up face, oh hey, bouchonnet. It's definitely how it goes, Which and it translates not. into English as well. Yeah, but no, it doesn't. Yes, Everyone it does. knows French is its own thing. No one understands French. <laughs> not even the French. Wow, I'm not French and I understand French. Just because you're French Canadian. I'm not French Canadian. I'm just, ha I'm just a Canadian who happens to speak French. It's very different. Like <sighs> anyway, let me know, guys. How do um. you sing that song? <laughs> so in our disagreement, we totally got off at the wrong exit of the station. So we're just trying to figure out where we need to go. But it's kind of lucky because we found this shard. Which is a really, really tall, very, very pointy building in London, and Matt's trying to take a picture of me while I'm doing this. This is such a great angle right now. Probably. Even better than this angle. So we're just in Borough Market right now, uh, which I've never actually been to before, but it looks like it sells foods and more foods. Lots of foods. Matt says this is the most hipster place he's ever seen. He's just filming me right now, filming myself. <laughs> of the Globe Theatre in Southwark, London, which is spelt Southwark, but is pronounced Southwark as I was promptly corrected on when I first moved here. And it's awesome. The original burned down because of a, um, a fire in like 1614, and then they built another one. And then they demolished that one, and then in 1997 they built this one. Uh, but a lot of shows come on here. I've seen two shows here. I've seen um, Coriolanus, the Japanese version. And I've also seen uh, another one that I can't remember the name of right now. I can't remember what the other one was I saw. So I know you're a super Harry Potter fan and self-confessed Hufflepuff. So you might recognize the bridge that I'm standing on. It was the one in the start of um, Order of the Phoenix that gets taken down by the Dementors in like the very, very start. 
and it's really wobbly <laughs> and I don't like it so we're gonna get off uh, but yeah you can see uh, St. Paul's Cathedral in the background as well Modern, which is a massive art gallery that was converted from an old power station and it's got a lot of modern art in it. Kind of whispering because it's a bit awkward because everyone's really quiet. well but I've we've just sat down for food and I realized that it actually closes at 6 and it's 22 now so we wouldn't make it in time but um, well I'll save that for another vlog and I can go like virtual shopping for you because I remember in Boston you were saying about how much you really wanted to go shopping in Camden so another time but that was supposed to be surprise location number two so now I'm gonna have to make up for it somehow I don't know how. How am I going to make up for it, Matt? With your amazing sense of ingenuity and creativity. It got a bit cold, so the alpaca sweater has returned. Hey, Kiri. So we're just getting ready to go to bed. We've got to be up kind of early. I say kind of early, earlier than usual uh, tomorrow for Comic-Con. Ah, really excited. But anyway, I need to talk about uh, what my pet peeve is. And it took me a while to think of this. My pet peeve is when people in restaurants <laughs> stop laughing at me, Matt. So people in restaurants put lemon in my Coke. And for anyone who even thinks of commenting, why don't you just ask for no lemon in your Coke? You can't predict these things. Yes, you don't you know when they're gonna. No, you can't. They're because some. No, they're not always gonna give you <laughs> lemon in your Coke. Uh, excuse me, I do not want lemon in my cola, please. And then he's like, is that, oh, is that your uh, imitation uh, of me? Basically. And then they're just going to laugh at you, and then they're going to put lemon in all of your food. And then <laughs> gonna... See, that I'd be okay with. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking, please don't put lemon in all of my food. That's my pet peeve. <laughs> so my question for you this week, because we're so excited about Carmagon tomorrow, um, is what's something you're excited for? Uh, Kiri and everyone else who may be watching. And because you're sick, I'm going to do a little bit of a twist on the ending. And I'm going to say miss you and get well soon. <laughs>